Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, one and all, to Let's Play Kudelka. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, Kudelka is actually a prelude to the Shadow Hearts series, uh, published by Ghostlight in Europe, I think. Uh, this one was published by Infograms, um, and developed by Sacknoth slash SNK. Uh, I'm not sure if Sacknoth is, is a derivative of SNK, but I think nowadays it's... Uh, just a part of SNK now, just got absorbed into them. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do a video on Sacknoth. Uh, anyway, uh, before we get started, let's have a look at the settings. Keep the vibration off, it's a bit distracting. So yeah, let's look around, menu, temp save, um, I'll explain that when it comes up. Uh, basic movement, uh, Pretty standard. Square doesn't do anything. Yeah, this game is uh, quite unique, to say the least. It, it is a JRPG, but um, it uh, its combat system uh, sort of makes it stand out a little. Um, I'll explain it when we get to it, but uh, let's start a new game. And that ladies and lovely young lady is uh, is our protagonist, Kudelka. I feel like I can talk over these scenes because she doesn't say much for this first open part. But it looks like somebody else got into the monastery before us. Oh. I hope I can get that thing back, whatever it was. Okay, I better shut up now. Not yet, but it looks like you're going to die soon. Maybe. But you'll have to pardon me while I tend to some unfinished business first. Business? What can you possibly accomplish in your condition? You can't even hold your gun steady. Well, I'm no less a try. That thing's not gonna die unless I shoot it two or three times. Alright, here we go, this is our first fight. Um, according to the wiki, this thing is supposed to be a werewolf. Uh, but it looks like it's got a giant scorpion tail. Um, I'm not sure if it can poison us with that, but uh, this is the first enemy in the game, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. Uh, well, I might as well demonstrate the uh, 
battle system over here. But we can move around uh, anywhere in these blue glowing squares. I think you get a maximum of three squares movement. Uh, action. We can attack, use magic, use an item, or change weapons. Uh, we don't know any attack magic yet, so no point in doing that. Uh, uh, regarding weapons, uh, ranged weapons have pretty much an infinite range, I think. Uh, for example, the pistol that we've got, we can shoot the enemy now. Uh, melee weapons, you have to be right up against the enemy. And uh, certain item weapons, like spears and things like that, uh, have like one extra square d uh, of range. Enough about that, let's get into it. This fight should be fairly simple, just two or three hits and you should die. I'm just going to cast a spell. Fortify spell. Yeah, there are spells in this game that fortify your stats, but um, I'm not sure which stat he just fortified because usually it pops up, you know, in, in, as part of the graphics. Like if you upped your strength, it'd say STR, but nothing happened. Strange. Got an extra action there, nice. And it's dead. Ah, excellent. Yeah, sometimes enemies will drop items. Uh, panacea. Um, I think I can examine them if I press circle. No, triangle. Pressing X would... Uh, remove it from the pickups. Um, I think that is a cure-all item. I can take a look in the inventory in a minute. I'll just press circle. Here we are. Items, tools, panacea. Here we are. Explain. There we go. Compound containing various herbs cures poisoning, paralysis, and silence, and other abnormal status effects. Yeah, it's a cure all. Excellent. And we picked up four, that's all that we find. They'll, come, they'll certainly come in handy. Uh, while I'm here, I think. Yeah, we'll swap out. Um, yeah, we'll go back to the knife, I think. That's mostly because I want to use a different character for the pistol. There's a reason for that, actually, because um, as well as basic levels, level ups, where you increase your stats, you also have um, weapon levels. So the more you use a certain weapon type, the better you get at it. You'll get like more hits per attack. That's the fellow we just met in that cutscene. I'm also glad that the uh, sprites are realigned now because. Um, when I first when I play tested the game, um, everything was like off to the to the right a little bit. So um, it would look as if there was like an invisible man sat next to uh, Edward here. Oh yeah, that's his name, Edward. But no, everything seems uh, aligned properly now. That was a bitch to set up. Anyway, let's talk to him if he's still alive. Hey, what about him? He's dead. Really? Thank you. So I guess my time is up. Hey, Angel. I'm not gonna ask you to take me to heaven. But will you pray for me at least? Are you out of your mind? There's no bloody way I'm going to pray for you. But I guess I owe you because you saved me too. Payback time. Shut up. 
Keep it down. Okay, let's go. Stand up or I'll leave you here. What happened? It doesn't, doesn't hurt anymore. I'm cured. Yeah, and so I cured you, so what? You? You cured me. But, but I was almost dead. I'm confused, so you really are an angel? Don't be foolish. <laughs> Do you really think that there are angels on Earth? I'm no angel. I'm just a medium with a little curing. I'm I'm Edward J. Plunkett. I, I know I look pretty shady, but you don't look too wholesome yourself. I... No, I'm not like you. And this is no place for people like you. Why did you come here? I heard a rumor. A rumor? I heard something in London. That the son of some rich family bought an old monastery. Spent a ton of money to convert it into a house. I heard he brought quite a lot of harlots here. Seems like he was having a great time. So, where is this monastery? That's what I want to know. I came all this way to put a poor man's fear of God into this rich bastard. So far, I haven't found anything. Then this monster attacked me. I, I almost got killed. If you'd come any later, no doubt I'd be singing hymns in his stomach right now. shouldn't have bought such a good horse. She's too fast. Too bad you won't be hearing me sing those hymns. When I was a boy, I was a pretty good soprano. If you don't stop talking, I'll leave you here. My name is Kudalka, and I'm only going to say this once, so don't forget. If you want to get out of here alive, I suggest you stick very close. Got it? Charmed, I'm sure. Okay, and with that we have our next party member. That is Edward. If we just take a look at the menu. I press R1, we'll switch to Edward's portrait. Uh, this is also how you select who is doing what, so um, let's say if I switch back to Kadalka and press heal, it will her that cast, it'll be her that casts the healing spell. And if I switch it to Edward, that too. Um, yeah, there's a certain way of uh, how I want each character to be. For example, I want Kadelka to be my magic user, and Edward to be my weapons expert. So, if I go to equipped, we'll have him equip the pistol. Let's look at any bullets. No, okay. Okay, that's how that will go. Yeah, sorry about that jump there, folks. I just uh, altered the brightness a little bit because, um, as we saw in the cutscene, you couldn't really see Edward's face. And that already looks much better, um, apart from the uh, shadow graphics there, but that's to be expected for the time, I suppose. This is a PS1 game, after all. Okay, we should be able to get through this door. Ah, so when we were looking at the uh, main menu at the start of the game, it said temp save. Uh, this is what it means. Um, you can save the game anywhere that has this S symbol. Uh, the main difference is that there are places you can properly save. The only real difference, I, th I believe, is that um, at proper save uh, areas, which usually come after boss fights, you can heal up as well. Right, um... Well, at least maybe we'll get to see Edward in battle now. So we've got a giant cockroach and a giant flea. This shouldn't be too bad. I think the flea can move more spaces than the cockroach.
Another thing, I think the further away you are, the more effective guns and ranged weapons are. Okay, now that Kudoka has the flare spell, well, we all have the flare spell, but Kudoka's my magic user, so. Let's see if we can roast that cockroach. Okay, normally you would have to wait until your character's next turn before the spell is cast, but when it is cast, that counts as, as an action. So Kadelka have got two moves there, but can't, we can't really do anything at this point. Edward's turn. Ah, okay, he can't attack because we're out of bullets. Well, in that case, let's go back to be barehanded. still be able to hit him from there. Yeah, you can attack diagonally. Good. That's the flea dealt with. Okay, uh, when I mentioned earlier that weapons have levels, spells do as well. It's that uh, first number next to the, to the spell itself. So we can fortify stats, flare and heal. So the more you use them, the like weapons, the higher their levels will grow. Ah, level up time. Okay, I might as well take this opportunity to explain the stats. So if I press R2. Strength, yeah, pretty standard. Uh, strength is how much damage a character can do in combat. So that's fairly standard. But the game does recommend that you keep a decent balance between strength and dexterity. Because... I'll just do them in order. Vitality, that's a character's maximum MP, uh, HP, sorry. Dexterity is your hit chance, so the game recommends that you keep a balance between strength and dexterity. If you're a physical fighter, that is, which shouldn't be too bad for Kadelka. It'll just be agility and vitality, I think I'll be boosting on this side. That being said, agility is your character's speed. So the higher this stat is, the more turns you will get to the enemy's one. Which is probably why Kadelka cast that spell and that flare spell immediately in that last battle. Now we get to the magic stats. Intelligence is your magic damage. Piety is uh, your magic defense. Uh, mind is your chances of hitting with a magic spell. Your magic accuracy, if you if if that makes sense. And luck is. I think that affects item drops, but if I just yeah, good fortune. Many unnoticeable ways. No, no, maybe that's also like critical hit chance? I'm, I'm not sure. But, either way, as I said before, I want Kadelka to be my magic user, so let's round off her agility up to 12, her vitality to 15, and up her mind to 15, because we want to keep a balance between intelligence and mind, of course. Oh, before I move on, piety also affects uh, healing spells. So for example, if a character has a high piety to the caster's lo uh, low int, they'll be healed less, if that makes sense. So yeah, piety also affects um, your defense against healing spells. Ah, some rum and nuts, they're uh, a revival item. Not only will they revive you, but they'll uh, completely fill your HP. And MP, I think. But now that that's over, there's something on the ground there. It's a potion. And I must say, the uh, item art is quite good. Not just potions, the, the whole lot. I mean, that, that panacea looked like a very convincing graphic, even for PS1 era. 
Okay. What's that up on the ledge there? It's some bullets. Okay. Pistol rounds. Okay. Well, that being said, let's. Uh, I should have uh, reloaded the pistol. I think we can climb this ladder. There we go. There should be something up here that will come in handy. Yep, the monastery map. That's a map of the main monastery grounds, which is where we are now. I think there's something over here we can pick up as well. some bread. Food are just like weak healing items, they won't be as effective as potions. I think that's everything, unless there's... Okay, now I'm being attacked by furniture. Okay, out of that battle I just uh, leveled up Edward, so uh, just trying to keep his uh, strength and dexterity stats up, because like I said, he's going to be our weapons expert. Or at least he'll be using the pistol quite a lot. Pretty much all the time in fact, I think. Is there anything else up here? Something on the table. And let's head back down then. Okay, next we should be able to go through that door on the right there. Okay, this guy's new. It's like a bit of a black blob thing. Looks like she's got a really long arm as well.
It's the first time we saw a victory pose there. Yeah, Kadoka will sort of like brush her face when she wins. They don't always play, but that's Kadelka's anyway. Edward does like a fist pump as well. Okay, uh, this looks like a sort of uh, landing. I'm gonna go over here first because I remember there's something behind this painting. A dirk, okay. Looks like a sort of broad dagger thing. It's not long enough to be a sword, but there it is. Let's take a look at that thing. That's a normal duck. Okay. Let's see what will happen if we equipped that. Okay, Kadaka's uh, strength stats go up. Her agility goes up, so that's maybe worth it. Kadaka's not really my strength character, but that boosted agility should should be fine. Um, sometimes uh, weapons can have uh, elements to them as well, which will also affect stats and the damage that they that they cause. Honestly, I think the most useless is probably the light attribute because it heals enemies. The only time it would work is against uh, dark enemies. You get your basic elements like fire, water, air and earth, light, dark. Uh, I think there's poison as well, unless uh, Earth inflicts poison. It's been a while since I've played this game. Two high potions from that battle. Uh, nothing special, just another giant flea and cockroach. Okay, so there's two doors here. Let's see what's in store. Oh! There is an old couple in the room, Odgan and Bessie Hartman, who say they are the caretakers of Nemerton Monastery. Oh, okay. How unusual that you two have decided to come to our rural district. There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, have as much as you want. Oh, yes, please. Thanks. It smells great. Wouldn't you like some, dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's not that. I'm all right for now. Thank you for your hospitality, though. <laughs> no trouble at all. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. We are the only ones who live here, and it's so rare that we get any visitors. So are you two really the only ones who live here? Why do you ask? Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell for sure. But this building looked like an old church or something. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the ninth century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius built a place of worship here to appease monsters and evil spirits. That was how the Nemerton Monastery started. Or so I heard. Monsters. Is that right? Yes. What about them? You might not believe this, but we saw a monster on our way here. Is that so? You saw it too? You mean, that monster's been around for a while? Well, we've been taking care of the monastery for a number of years, but from about six months ago, Monsters have been appearing. We see them more and more every month. And I used to be a sailor. I'm not afraid of any monsters. Oh, dear. What if something terrible happens to you? We almost got killed back there. Now we're out of bullets. That's not good. The monsters might try and attack you again. I'll spare you some bullets. Thanks. That'd be great. Looking after others. He's so wonderful at that. So, have you two been together long? Yes, quite a while. Now, all he does is paint and maintain this old building. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days... Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one.
Okay, so I'm gonna spare us some bullets. Let's actually see if they've been put in our inventory. Green tools. Ah, yes, he's giving us 20. Sweet. That's plenty of bullets, that's 34. Okay. Oh, Kadoka's MP's gone down. Looks like I've been casting too many spells. Ah, well, she's got the knife to keep her going. Alright. Where to next? Let's try that door at the back. Where to next? Let's try that door at the back there. Okay, I remember this room. Uh, a certain something is going to happen here. Um, this does technically lead to progress, but... I want to check that door at the top of the balcony first. Oh, just got some uh, armor from that fight. Armor is very, very scarce in this game. I think I'm going to give it to Kadalka. Fire rags. Ooh, Pachi Skyrockets, good. That'll put up her um, her magic points as well. We just got to boost her intelligence and mind to match it. Luck goes up as well. So hopefully that'll increase our uh, item drops. If that's how luck works in this game, I'm not sure. Shame it doesn't add to your uh, to your current MP when you've equipped it. Hopefully we'll find some items that'll uh, give MP. I think the item that you get is called Telus or something like that. I'm not sure if that's a real thing. Okay, that's where I found the Dirk. We can't go any further to the left, so let's, let's try this door. Okay, what's this? Adds ah, that stuff I mentioned, that Telus. Uh, when I get the opportunity, we'll have Kadoka equip that. Okay, looks like we're in a sort of broken building. A lot of blood and feathers around us. We're killing chickens. Now, this is a creepy animation. Check this out. It's all dismembered and got sh gl uh, glass shards in its body. Probably it's best to keep our distance. Let's have Kodoki use the Telus. Telus. How's that? Oh well, whatever. Got 40 MP out of it. You know, it would be good if you could transfer MP from one character to another, like Edward, if he had, because I'm not planning on letting him use magic, I could send his excess MP to other characters that are actually going to use it. Shame he can't do that. Let's keep at him. Still not dead yet. Okay, we've got a spear from that. I'll probably demonstrate that in a moment, in, a, in another battle. I think we can go through here next. Corridor face left. Okay, uh, I need to turn back. But, seeing as this is a save area... Oh, 
All right. I think that's a decent point to cut off. Um, I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, I need to go back because we're supposed to find our next party member before we go into this area. So the next time you see me, folks, I will go back to the corridor outside Odgan and Bessie's room and we'll carry on from there. See you then, folks. Bye.